Yeah. LP, RG, me, now Gucci. Gucci. Bricks. But when I step out, bros, 10 for 10, mm -hmm. I don't miss rich. What's going on, everybody? What's happening with y'all? What it is? It's your boy, Mike Rich. Hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all is having a blessed day to day. What it is, man. Hope everybody having a good one. Today, we're going to talk about something called Reimagine. The Reimagine series. Air Jordan Reimagine series. Now, when I think Reimagine, I think of a retelling of a story. You know what I'm saying? A remix. A, a re... Like I said, somebody else take, somebody else's imagination on what a shoe would look like. Somebody else's perspective because every, every shoe is, it's not what we would pick directly for the shoe to look like. It's what somebody at the design team at Nike picked out for the shoe to look like. What if this shoe would have been like this? Or what if this shoe would have been all this material or something like that? You know what I'm saying? Um, Nike and Jordan Brand, they keep reinventing this idea because we had like, um, alternate versions of stuff like that, especially with the Tinker alternates. Everything was an alternate version of what Tinker probably had in his blueprint. You know what I'm saying? They come up with stuff like that all the time because you got, you got to be creative to keep bringing out shoes over and over again in the same silhouettes and make people want to go and buy them. You know what I'm saying? So we had alternate 89 uh, Jordan 4s. We had alternate Olympic 7s that dropped and stuff like that. And a lot of times we just try to, they try to bring out different versions or something they think we might like. But in the, in, in the end of the day, it's all somebody else's perspective. From what I heard, the first alternate in this, uh, I mean, the first uh, reimagined in this reimagined series, I don't know if it's true, but some, uh, somebody told me it was the black and red, the bread Jordan 1 High. Uh, patent leathers that was the first I don't remember that shoe ever being called reimagined but y'all can comment below and tell me if that's true or not I hope it wasn't because a lot of y'all might not agree with me but I would rather them do all OG highs like the lost and finds I just like the way they did it with the crack leather the vintage the, the vintage laces and the box all scuffed up that's that's just my preference I like it supposedly they doing the black toe ones like that later on this year I'm sure images will pop up like 12,000 years early for that shoe. So we'll be able to get our, our eyes at how the shoe looked way before it dropped. But um, hopefully that's what they do with that. I, lo I love the Lost and Found take on the Reimagined series, shout And it's just fire in my humble opinion, man. But let's just talk about it, man. So even if the black patent breads wasn't a part of the Reimagined, even if they wasn't, they wasn't, I wasn't going to get them anyway because I had these right here. And real quick before I get into that, anybody got any advice, and I need really good advice on how to get rid of the glitter on the 2016 Jordan 1s, the black leather. If y'all not new here and y'all know about them shoes, they all got that glitter on them. This right shoe is not that bad. My left shoe is terrible, though. That's why I chose this shoe. Because the other shoe, you can see the little glitter right here. But the other shoe has it like really thick, thick coat of glitter all over the black part. And it's a DS pair. And I'm thinking, something making me think if I just wear the shoe sometimes, maybe it won't glitter up as much. But then, I, I mean, I heard somebody say mink oil, people telling me different stuff to use, but what can get rid of it like forever? So I don't have to ever worry about it. It's like a mold almost, it seems like. But I think it's whatever the coating they use to make the leather finish, the leather finish or whatever, that's why it looks like that. But like I said, obviously, I feel like if I wear these a little bit more, they probably won't do that as much. But like I said, if that was the real magic, I don't have to have it because I got these right here. It's just a part of being selective. This new whole selective journey I've been going on. Y'all been riding with me lately. Shout out to Rich Nation. Uh, my selective journey. But yeah, man, I would have got, I would have just, I would have been cool with these. I didn't need that shoe. Patent leathers, plus they crease up crazy. Anybody comment below if your patent leather Jordan 1 breads are holding up? I would love to know how them shoes doing, man. How they doing for your feet? Are they comfortable? Because I know they ain't. I had uh, gold toes and stuff like that. And, any patent leather, all patent leather Jordan 1 can't be comfortable, but maybe the brands are different. Y'all let me know how y'all bread patent leathers are holding up. And y'all comment below if that was a part of the Reimagined series or not. And I think the next one was, well, I think the, I think the next one was the Jordan 1 Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. Was the Jordan 1 Chicago? Was it the Reimagined uh, Chicago ones? This is, to me, the Lost and Found Air Jordan 1 was really like the first Reimagined to me. I might be missing a shoe here and there. I'm, I'm only I'm only going by what I got and what I got the the similar OG shoe of. So I think this was the second one. Could I, I think I'm, I'm, I might be wrong. To me, this was like this is what set it off though. This shoe right here is what made us be like, you know what? Because this shoe looked like it was pulled out of a box 
in 1985. You know what I'm saying? It got them type of vibes to it. And when I saw that with the big swoosh and the, the shape of the shoe and the it, it the, I, when I saw this, I fell in love with it. Even though I got 2015 Chicago, I saw this shoe in hand for the first time. I said, "Bro, they need to do every OG Jordan one like that." They probably won't. Hopefully, Black Toes will be, but. This is what I feel like what started it. So I, I had to cop these. And then, not too long after that, the reimagined Air Jordan 3 white cements drop. Which I would love, when I tell you, I would absolutely take my money right now if they do a uh, black cement like this. Boy, with this shape, you feel me? With the vintage vibes, man. And they probably get a little bit more creative with that shoe, seeing that it's black. They could probably scuff it up a little bit. I know y'all probably wouldn't like that, but I think it. They make making that shoe look vintage would be really fun for I feel like any designer at Jordan brand to make the the black cement three, which is my favorite three by the way, look vintage like this right here. I think that'd be a hit, bro. In my humble opinion, man. You know what I'm saying? Um. So yeah, I had to get this one when I saw this one, man. I had to get this one. As far as the reimagined, man. I tell y'all was my favorite at the end so far, but. I had to jump on these, bro. Um, and more recently, we had the reimagined uh, Jordan 1 that was a flop that's still sitting in stores that I actually like. And if I didn't have this one, like I said, I done been over this in a few videos. So if I'm repeating myself, it, I'm sorry, but it's, it's the topic of conversation with Jordan Brand constantly dropping these reimagined sneakers. I had this one. So I, I probably, I did buy it originally because I got exclusive access on Nike sneakers. But then I, I returned it, man, because I was like, bro, I got this one. I don't need it. And I got the low like this, so I don't need that shoe. But so I, out of all of the, these reimagines, I only caught threes in the Lost and Found so far. And I kind of let the other ones go by the wayside. But when you think about reimagine an all suede version of this, we don't know if that's what people wanted. Apparently, people didn't really care about a Jordan 1 being all suede. I can't really think of no Jordan 1s that's all suede that, that was really popular. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong on that. You feel me? So, last but not least, before before we get the black toe Jordan 1, hopefully the lost and found, but it's going to be a reimagined. We got to wait to see what they're going to do with that. Before we get that shoe, we're going to get the most anticipated everybody talking about. It. And I keep using this one for ref reference because I don't have that one in hand. When I do get that one in hand for a review, trust me, Rich Nation, you'll be the first one to know. But the, um, the Bread Force reimagines. Um, in my humble opinion, this is the better. Out of the two, the new buck, it looks cleaner to me. Although I like the more OG-ish kind of shape, they seem like they're trying to go with with that one, with that all leather one. I still don't like the all leather on it, on that specific colorway. It's, I ain't gonna say I don't like it. Let me take that back because I know people are getting in the comments when I see the shoe in hand talking about how dope it is. People jump in the comments. Remember you said you ain't like a rip. Yeah, yeah, I thought you ain't like them. Read you, read you. I remember you said you ain't like them. Let me take that back. I don't not. I don't dislike them. I just think this one is. I think the new buck looks better on this colorway in this silhouette. If they would have did that same shape in this material and vintage it out a little bit for the reimagine instead of what they did, like I said, I'm not mad at what they did because it's literally a reimagine. It's a different material on the shoe that was originally like a new buck shoe. But if they would have just kept the new buck and aged it out like they did the threes in the uh in the uh, lost and founds, bro. They would have been hard, man. To me, they would have been hard. Or they could have used that old kind of Durabuck that them shoes actually had back in the day. It's this kind of like shiny, almost, it's like almost shiny. Like the Jordan 6s had it. The original 1991 Jordan 6s had it. It's just, it's kind of a new buck that if you rub it like that right there, it kind of get like shiny, almost like a, like a flat leather. I wish they can recreate that material. If y'all know what I'm talking about, comment below. Because that's the original material that these shoes had on. But anyway, I won't be getting that one and I'm sticking by it. I am going to be getting it for a review. Trust. So when you see me in the thumbnail holding the box, doing one of the thumbnail faces, don't be thinking I caught the shoe for me. Because it's, it's a lot of people that's going to watch that video. Even the fact that I'm saying these ain't my shoes, that's going to say, I thought you weren't going to caught. Uh, even if I say loud and clear and put a big disclaimer in the video saying this is not my shoe, I got it for review purposes only, it's still going to be some of y'all in the comments saying I thought you weren't going to cop. That's because they ain't watching the whole video. They just looking at the thumbnail and commenting. You know what I'm saying? Watch the video, people. Anyway, that's the moral of the story. That's the moral of the story. So anyway, the Reimagine series. I keep looking at these and wanting to wear them again just because the new one's coming out. And I just want to want to floss these guys. You feel me? Floss. We don't even say that in a long time. I want to floss them. Uh, <laughs> my favorite out of all of them, though, real quick before we go, is the 
is the lost and founds, man. And y'all probably know that from our conversation. Just they just look like they they was pulled out of a time capsule straight from 1985. Back to the Future came out that year. Nostalgia for me. I was only three years old, so I don't remember it. Like it ain't like I remember. I I was I remember it with nostalgia. You know what I'm saying? Like I did I didn't see it in real. I didn't see nothing in 1985 real time. I was three years old. I ain't know what the hell was going on. But I just you still get the nostalgic vibes. It was like you just was around it. So you just, I don't know. You don't know, but you kind of know. You got the vibes. You got the energy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. Y'all comment below if that make any sense at all. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Comment below and tell me what you think about the Reimagined series. If the Jordan 1 Black Toes is anything like the Lost and Founds, I'll probably cop. But if it's very, very similar to what we got in 2016, I want to say, I got that shoe already. And it looked pretty much DS. So I don't know if I might, I might sleep on them. Your boy being selective in 2024. Anyway, appreciate y'all good people for watching this video. Hit me up and tell me what you think about it. Hit the thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. And keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Yeah, yeah. Watch me so stupid, the Dara. Check out my kiss and apparel. Rich like a king of fairy, yeah. Yeah, air captain, they calling me jet like I'm sparrow. East Atlanta in my blood, the streets got me twin like tears of Mary, yeah. Watch out with the Camaro. Stay out my lane, it's too narrow. God more, God more, staying blessed. I'm keeping my eye on the sparrow. Man of the people, you did that singing my name just like it's a carol. Cause my got the juice by the barrier. Yeah. I can't really help it, bro. They know that I'm the ish, yeah. Catch me boss of sauce and might just pull up right at wish, yeah. LBRG me, now I'm Gucci. Gucci. Bricks. But when I step out, bro, it's 10 for 10. I don't miss rich. I just cannot, I, 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 I just cannot